Meghan Markle has spilled details about her life as an actress before she met her husband, Prince Harry, describing the battered old car she used to use to travel to auditions at Warner Brothers Studio. In a sneak preview of her sit-down interview with US chat show host Ellen DeGeneres, the Duchess of Sussex recounted her journeys to the very same studios in which she sat during the interview years later. She recalled, I would park on gate 3 and I would scoot on over and the security guards here would always say break a leg, I hope you get it. So driving today was very different. Ahead of the interview airing, host Helen picked up on this comment and enticed on Twitter, a lot has changed since the last time Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, was on the Warner Brothers lot. Don't miss the rest of our interview tomorrow. In the snippet, Ellen DeGeneres asks the Duchess of Sussex about the car she typically used to drive to auditions, calling it a very special car. The Duchess replied that her old vehicle had a life of its own. She explained, I had this very, very old Ford Explorer Sport, and, at a certain point, the key stopped working on the driver's side. She recounted with humor, you couldn't get yourself in through the door, so after auditions, I would park at the back of the parking lot and I would open the trunk and climb in, pull the door shut behind me and crawl all over my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro, she finished with a wide smile. The interview will feature in an episode of The Ellen Show, to be aired on Thursday. On Twitter, the reaction to Meghan's anecdote was mixed, with some lauding her similarity to many of her viewers, and others cringing away from her rags to riches story. One Twitter user with the screen name Rue commented, We love Meghan because her life is so relatable to ours. She worked hard and experienced the hustle. Another, Glow, added that it was fantastic to hear Meghan speak on television again. They praised, I'm looking forward to this. Others questioned why the Duchess did not use the passenger door of her car to enter her vehicle. This new chat will be the first time Meghan has starred in a sit-down interview since the explosive expose that was her and Prince Harry's conversation with Oprah Winfrey, aired in March this year. The incendiary interview had the royal household and viewers across the world on the edge of their seats as they got a glimpse into the Sussexes' account of their time as working royals. During the interview, Harry and Meghan made the seismic claim they had faced racism from a senior royal who asked Harry about the color of his unborn child's skin while Meghan was pregnant with their son, Archie, who is now two years old. Prince Harry refused to name the royal family member who made the comments, telling Oprah, that conversation, I am never going to share. He added, at the time it was awkward, I was a bit shocked. Harry's brother, Prince William, 39, reacted to these claims in the days after the Oprah interview by saying the royals were very much not a racist family and that he and Prince Harry had not spoken since the accusations were made public. Separately in the interview, Meghan went as far as to confess to Oprah that she had contemplated suicide. She told the US chat show host that at certain points, her life within the royal family made her feel that she didn't want to be alive anymore, 